Hello Scorpio and Cross Watchers, this is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another reading for the channel for the day commencing for February 17th, 2022, getting caught up with readings for the channel. I am currently booked with personal readings for the rest of February of 2022. I will be taking a week off from doing personal readings, but you can book your personal reading with me after the 8th of March. So if you message me at blue scorpion gifts at gmail.com, my personal assistant Victoria will send you all of the information as to how to go about booking a reading with me and do your reading through the power of the numbers. So let's take a look at your specific person, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on in their energy. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. Let's see here. Rolling the dice. We have the power of number seven. Some of you guys are dealing with a Cancerian or a Leo throughout the month of July. We could see the Chariot card, but I'm also picking up on the Seven of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. Mm, power of number seven again. I wonder if we'll get a seven, seven, seven. Mm, seven, seven, eight. <clears throat> You may want to Google the angel number 778 in regards to this reading for today as an additional spiritual message or if somebody would like to uh, post the information in the comment box so everybody can see that information. Number 778, angel number, okay? Looks like we are going to the power of number 22, number 22. Some of you also, too, could be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo throughout the month of August. Power of number eight in there. So, strength card, but I'm also picking up on the eight of swords and the eight of wands and the eight of pentacles. Power of number two, also circulating. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces throughout the month of February. We could also see the high priestess card make her presence known. And also, <clears throat> possibly two of cups. I am seeing the two of swords and the two of pentacles. Power number 22, you guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers, what is going on with Scorpio's specific person, please, in their environment currently right now? What's going on with them? Ooh, <clears throat> something's not going in their favor again. The Six of Cups is coming up in the reverse. It could very well be true, Scorpio, that the person that you were dealing with might have went back to somebody from their past, but I'm seeing it as it's not working out. Six of Cups, again, in the reverse. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, and or Scorpio. Page of Wands, mm. you could be receiving some information, Scorpio, maybe from an outside source or directly from the horse's mouth that this situation between them and this third party is not working out. Cut in the middle of the deck, Five of Cups, guilt, remorse, and regret. Bottom of the deck, the Seven of Wands. Somebody's either going on the attack or the defense. And or Scorpio, it could very well be true that this person is also trying to protect your energy from this karmic as well. Some of you are dealing with them fire signs, Aries, a Leo, and or Sagittarius.
this person that you've dealt with before, Scorpio, some of them are in the work hard, play hard mode, but somebody is exceptionally still passionate about you, Scorpio. I do feel that they are reminiscent, but they've been overwhelmed. They've been overwhelmed with this third party situation. People in their family getting up all in their business. Some of them could be smoking excessive marijuana to mask over the pain for some of them. Message from the Page of Wands. What is this? Ooh, the Four of Wands, Twin Flame, Soulmate, 1111 Connection. Ooh, I got to clarify that. Hang on one second. I feel like this person eventually is going to ask you out on a date, Scorpio, or they have intentions to marry you. What is this? Yeah, you're the Empress. You are the shining star. You are the be-all, end-all. Empress energy, power of number three. Could very well be true throughout the month of March of 2022 that this person is going to reach out or you're going to find out that this person, if they're dealing with a third party, Queen of Swords, bottom of the deck. They could be feeling a little bit on guard with you, Scorpio, because we did see that Seven of Wands on the bottom of the deck. That you may have some choice words to say to them once they reach out. You're going to be like, prove it. Prove it. Prove to me that I am the empress or the emperor. Some of them may want, just for those of you, maybe you guys had visions of having children <clears throat> with this person. The king of wands can be a very sexually driven type of person as well. They thrive off of physical connection, physical passion. Some of them may want to get you pregnant. For those of you who can have children or instill that cycle of your life. So take necessary precautions if that is not what you want. However, this person sees you on the rise, on the grow. For some of them, it intimidates them. For others... They're magnetically drawn unto you, my beautiful Scorpios. What is this passionate new beginning that they want with Scorpio? Yeah, they do want to ask you out. Page energy again. A token, a gift, a love offer, a gesture. I feel like it's to meet up. It could very well be true that some of them want to meet up in secrecy. High Priestess card. Even while maybe this energy between them and a karmic situation... Is fizzling and fading out. Page of Pentacles. Let's see here. How will they communicate with Scorpio, please? Through the Page of Pentacles. What is this? That they're going to put in more time, energy, dedication, and devotion. I was seeing the Eight of Pentacles in my mind's eye. Power of number eight. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Again, I've got Pisces, Aries energy. Also, Libra and Taurus. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Aries, Leo, Sag. How are they going to put the time and energy into this new connection that they want with Scorpio? Okay. They know that they have to build slow with you or that you may want to go slow in order to rebuild this connection, Scorpio. It's like I'm seeing the tower card in my mind's eye, but in the reverse. Getting past the rubble. Everything that came crashing down in your world in regards to this person. They're patiently waiting to make their move. There's communication not once, but twice. Message from the King of Wands. Why are they still so passionate about Scorpio? <laughs> but some of them think you're no nonsense. But they're getting the mental clarity that they seek about you, Scorpio. And or they can possibly know too that you may have another choice in love. Or some of you are back out on the dating scene. And some of them could have gotten information about this. Hmm. Air signs, Aquarius, a Libra, and or Gemini you could also be dealing with as well. Message 
from the King of Swords. Yeah, they want their over the rainbow moment with you, Scorpio. Somebody's driven. This is what I'm picking up on. I'm looking for other clues. Some of them could be returning back to you in the next four weeks. Picking up March and April for a lot of you. They're going to be making their presence known again. Show me why things are not working out between them and the karmic, please. Why is the Six of Cups in the reverse? Arguments. Five of Wands. This energy was coming in for that bonus reading for the full moon in the sign of Leo. There's argumentative energy. This karmic could know about you, Scorpio. Especially if you were in some kind of a long-term connection and or partnership or if this person that you dealt with before might have made mention of your name or that they were in a relationship with you at one point in time. There's jealousy I'm picking up on, but argumentative energy. What is this person in the karmic fighting about, please? There was a judgment call, the blame game. They're blaming one another for something here. There's a judgment call. And not only that, too, they want to revitalize the connection here with you, Scorpio. This could be about begging for a second chance. That's another reason why we saw that Five of Cups, because the Five of Cups and the Page of Cups has a tendency to follow suit of the judgment card. So there's a blame game that's going on here, or this person that they've been dealing with knows about you, or that this person wants to return back to you. Somebody's ass is going to get kicked to the curb. Five of Pentacles. What is judgment? Ooh, deception, baby. Deception with a capital D. Some of you guys are dealing also, too, with the Cancerian moon energy. I was, like I said, that full moon in the sign of Leo. That we're in right now, mm -hmm. according to today's, the day's date of this reading. However, there is deception going on between them and this karmic. What is the deception? What is the deception between Scorpio's person and this karmic? Freaking tower moment, baby. Something's come crashing down in their world. But I see it as a breakthrough. Temperance, bottom of the deck. An ebb and flow. The connection between you and this person, Scorpio, is divinely guided. When you keep calling on your trusted ancestors and your spirit guides and guardian angels. And ask them. To put you on the path of least resistance with this person. Some of you have entirely moved on from this person. And you know what? That's fine. But for those of you that want this person back. To get ready. They have a freaking tower moment coming. And it's going to be good. Some of them will find out that their parents were the culprits of also your breakup. Yep, somebody's going into singlehood. Your person, the karmic. They're both going to be single. Yeah, lover's card, bottom of the deck. Going into singlehood. Message from the Nine of Pentacles. Rapid fire communication. <clears throat> Coming out of nowhere about this breakup it is the truth victory and success is headed in your direction in regards to this person what is the rapid fire communication they're going to tell you that they got deceived mm, i told you i saw that seven of swords there's deception moon card is deception things were dirty deeds that were done behind the scenes. What were the lies? What were the lies between this person Scorpio has dealt with and the karmic person? 
some of them were trying to reach out to another person or this person could have denied the fact, Scorpio, that some of them did try to reach out to you. Some of them have. Or that your person could have been in denial with the karmic that they didn't care about you anymore when in truth they really actually do because, again, they see you as the empress or the emperor. So this person, this karmic could have found out that your person was trying to reach out to you or they're getting ready to reach out to you. They're going to find out about it. What is this? Yeah, the world card. You could find out about this on social media too. If your person, if you, you know, provided you guys are not blocked from one another, you may see their social status go from being in a relationship with so and so to single. Oh boy. The world card. Or you can get a message in your DM box. Hey, guess what? How are you doing? Um,. Yeah, I'm I'm not with so and so anymore. And they might say, "Ha!" Huh? laugh out loud. Something to that effect. Show me the world. Show me this message possibly for some of my Scorpio viewers. In their social media inbox, what's up? <clears throat> yeah, so some of you guys are dealing with a Virgo and or a Libra throughout the month of September. They're going to, and basically the way they're telling you, it's going to be in quote unquote silence, you know, because it's in a private message, really. Lover's card. Or they could flat out tell you straight up that they're in love with you. Because I got two communicators here and the Eight of Wands. Rapid fire communication is communication that comes out of the blue. And for some of you, you may receive this information because we have the moon card. The next full moon cycle will be in the sign of Virgo, the hermit card. And there you are, my beautiful Scorpios, male or female, doesn't matter that they're in love with you. Queen of Cups. Mm hmm. They could end up telling you or revealing their truth unto you. Because we did see the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Or that they know that you're very highly intuitive and you already saw this coming, Scorpio. Between them and this karmic. They're a little worried that you're going to be on the defense. Or be in the I told you so kind of mode because we did see the Queen of Swords. <laughs> yeah. They're all up in their head because they really want to tell you this now. They wanted to express to you these feelings. They're concerned. They may even ask you. They may even ask you if you're seeing somebody else. I think they're worried about that, to be honest with you. I've got two kings here. Okay. I've got two kings. I've got... Your person could be in and around your age bracket, Scorpio, or maybe just a little older than you. And you could also be dealing with somebody who is younger than you, Scorpio. Mm-hmm. Page of Cups. Rightfully owed apology. That's the reason for that judgment card. Mm-hmm. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. There goes Toto. Mm-hmm. Confirmation. That they were going through an uphill battle with this karmic. Ten of Wands. So anyway, Scorpio, Crosswatchers, thank you so much for the love and support of my channel. But until next time, take care.